Humanity is facing a multitude of existential threats. From climate change to malnutrition to the rising cost of living, it feels like we need a hero. But not all heroes wear capes. Sometimes they can be found in the unlikeliest of places, like on your toast in the morning. Could the answer to the world's problems be the humble bean? Beans are a dietary staple of nearly every culture across the globe, and for good reason. Not to toot their own horn, but boasting around 40,000 different varieties, beans are highly versatile, nutritious, cheap, and great for the environment. Part of the legume family, botanically, beans are a vegetable and come in many different shapes and sizes, from fresh beans and peas to dried seeds like lentils and chickpeas. If you're confused whether you should treat them as a veg or a protein on your plate, the answer is they can be either or both. For example, fresh peas and green beans are considered starchy vegetables, while the high protein content of kidney beans, black beans, and chickpeas means they tick the boxes of both food groups. In a world where two and a half billion people are either overweight, obese, or malnourished, beans are a nutritional all-rounder. Not only are they an inexpensive substitute for animal products, but they're both low-fat and nutrient-rich, high in protein, iron, zinc, and fiber. They contain indigestible carbohydrates that feed the bacteria in the large bowel, making them great for our guts. While all beans contain a mix of essential amino acids, soybeans have the best ratios for our health. Other beans don't have that balance, but around the world, people have traditionally paired them with foods that make the meal nutritionally complete. Think beans on toast, bean burritos, rice and peas, dal and chapatis. Everything is better with beans. While beans are well known for their role in, to put it delicately, releasing gases, they can also do the opposite. Beans play a unique and important role in crucial ecosystems like forests, grasslands, and wetlands. The bacteria in their roots take in nitrogen from the atmosphere and store it in the soil. This process, known as nitrogen fixing, not only provides nutrients for trees and other plants, but acts as a natural fertilizer in agriculture, greatly reducing the need for synthetic ones and lowering chemical pollution. In a world of ever-increasing temperatures, beans are survivors, able to grow in a wide range of climates, from the broad beans of the UK to the azuki of the Himalayas. They're hardy, on average requiring less water in their production than rice, wheat, or animal products. And given that global water demand is likely to increase by more than 40% by 2030, this is quite a superpower. Beans have sometimes been misunderstood. Researchers once worried that the isoflavones found in soy could cause health issues by mimicking the hormone estrogen. But thankfully, more recent studies have found no evidence of this. In fact, modern research suggests that soy could even lower cancer risk and help maintain healthy hearts. Another concern is that growing soya beans leads to deforestation in places like the Amazon. But in fact, nearly 80% of soy produced in the region is used to feed the animals that feed us. If we ate less meat and more soy, we would need to use a lot less land, which would mean less pressure to convert forests and natural habitats for growing food. Like everything in life, beans aren't perfect. For those who haven't had beans consistently in their diet, they may need to introduce them slowly to get used to their bulk and high fiber content. Some people find that conditions like irritable bowel syndrome can be exacerbated by some beans, though soaking and cooking the beans thoroughly may help. Kidney and cannellini beans contain high levels of lectin, a protein that makes them toxic, so they definitely need to be cooked properly to avoid food poisoning if bought dried or raw. On balance though, whilst beans can't be expected to fix all the ills of the world, given their incredible abundance, nutritional value, environmental benefits, and the myriad delicious ways they can be eaten, the future looks decidedly beany.